Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, April 30th, 2025. Tomorrow is May 1st. Awesome. An underwater volcano in the Pacific Northwest is showing signs it may erupt for the first time in years. They're expecting it to erupt sometime at the end of this year. Many scientists are currently studying this volcano. The Axial Sea Mound is about 300 miles off the Oregon coast and nearly 4,900 feet below the ocean. It is one of the most active underwater volcanoes in the world and is swelling with magma. Scientists believe it will erupt before the end of 2025 this year. This is based on decades of monitoring and unique volcanic uh, seismic signatures. One scientist there in the state of Washington said that people don't need to worry about the eruption. It is unlikely for the underwater eruption to trigger a tsunami, a major earthquake, of course, or a land volcano could. There are thousands of islands throughout all of the oceans, and there are many more sea mountains that grew upward from the sea floor, but do not reach sea level. Volcanoes make nearly all oceans, islands, and sea mounts, even though some may be capped with coral reefs. Sea floor volcanoes grow in spurts when they are in the eruptive phase. They can easily grow about 300 meters, 1,000 feet, in a few weeks or months. That growth rate is good enough to form an island on shallow sea floor, but it's not enough to form one on an average sea floor depth of about, oh, at least 3,600 meters or 12,000 feet. At this depth, volcanoes would have to have many growth pulses to eventually breach the sea surface. And that may take thousands to hundreds of thousands of years. In fact, the chance of a sea mount becoming an island is very small. Once islands form, they are very likely to eventually drown because they subside under the underlying aging sea floor and because they're worn down by ocean waves. Axel Sea Mount has erupted three times, in 1998, 2011, and in 2015. It is situated on the Juan de Fuca Ridge. It does have a clear pattern of previous eruptions. The sea floor inflates as magma accumulates, seismic activity intensifies, and finally the volcano bursts. In late 2023, researchers noticed that the volcano's inflation rate had doubled by the mid-2024. Seismic activity spiked over, with over uh, 500 earthquakes a day. In recent studies, researchers used what they call full waveform inversion, a cutting-edge seismic technique to produce high-resolution images of the subsurface. The findings showed the magma reservoir beneath the summit with a melt fracture of about 37 percent and that was at the end of last year. Below that a conduit of magma that came up from deeper in the earth crust the melt was about 4 to 11 percent. When it does erupt many people probably won't even know that it did erupt. Um, beachgoers may find um, small rocks of pumice washed up on the beach the Axel Sea Mount lies in an intersection of the Juan de Fuca Ridge and the Cobb Hotspot, where magma supply is particularly robust. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of the Axel Sea Mount, and I'll bring it out so you can see where it is off the coast of, of uh, you know, Oregon. Yeah, and then to the uh, north northwest is the Cobb. Um, sea mound. As you can see here, this is an area of spreading where a uh, new sea floor is currently uh, growing. Yeah, it might be kind of cool after it erupts to go along the beach there and find pumice. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.